Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, in today's video, we're going to be installing a few interior upgrades for Letitia's Evo 10. Uh, now, before we get into those and run over what we're doing, um, I quickly had two channel updates. Firstly, I'm sure you guys have probably noticed, I have had to step the uploads back down to one video per week. So, no longer doing the midweek upload um, and just doing the Sunday upload, 10 a.m. here in Brisbane, Australia, um, in whatever time that normally comes out for you guys around the world, where you're, wherever you're watching. Um, so that will continue. It's just the midweek upload is unfortunately going away. Um, I've just had a change in my working schedule and it's just basically taken away all my free time that I had to film. So rather than sort of stressing and trying to make sure I got the two videos out per week and left myself with no free time and potentially uploading some videos that weren't very good, um, I've just decided for now it's best that I go back down to the one upload per week. So yeah, I'm really disappointed about that if I'm honest. Um, I've really enjoyed making the videos twice a week and always look forward to upload day uh, because I'm really excited to share the videos I've made with you guys. And yeah, it does, yeah, I am a little bit disappointed um, and I'm sure the growth of the channel will probably sort of stop, um, but it is what it is. I um, have to just keep leaving myself enough free time to actually live and not just focus on working full-time job and doing two videos a week. Um, so now it's going to be just one video. Hopefully you guys understand. Um, and the second thing is that I've also started a second YouTube channel. Now I know that sort of contradicts the first thing saying I have no time, but this one is just a car detailing channel. It's not actually taking away any more of my free time. Um, it's just basically whenever I'm cleaning the cars or maintaining them, trying out different products, which I am always doing anyway, whenever I'm washing the cars, we do have three cars um, between myself and Letitia that I maintain. So it's just basically a detailing style channel where I'm testing products, doing comparisons and reviews. Um, and yeah, I just sort of enjoy watching channels like that. And I have all the products. I'm always doing that anyway off camera. I figured I've got the, the cameras, I've got the editing um, software. Why don't I just film some of these and see how they go? So I'm giving that a try. Um, it's called Evolved Details, the channel. So I'll put a link in the description and I'd really appreciate it if you guys could head over there, um, check out some of the videos and give me a subscribe. Um, would be really appreciated to help me grow this new channel. Um, but yeah, so that's it for the channel updates. Don't wanna drag this intro on too long. So now let's get into what we're actually doing to Letitia's car today. So we have a few interior upgrades, like I said. Uh, firstly, we have another set of these to install. Just did a video installing this into my car, Letitia said she didn't like it, didn't want it, and then within a week of me installing it, she kept seeing in my car and looking at it, and then she decided, yep, I want one of these. So she's ordered them too. Um, so yeah, took a while to get here. Um, she got this piece from Australia, exactly the same as I did, and then she ended up having to get this one from the US, just exactly the same. So this took a little while to come. Um, so those are going in. I won't be really filming that process much because I just did a video on it. I'll just show you kind of before and after. Uh, we also have some OEM Lancer Revolution shift knob and handbrake. Um, so these are pretty rare and hard to get. Unfortunately, these ones aren't in the best condition. So Letitia is pretty upset with the condition. She says she's probably going to sell them. So yeah, we've got the handbrake it says Lancer Revolution there. Mitsubishi logo. Um, it's pretty heavy and it kind of feels nice. Um, I did try and polish it up a bit, but it seems like it may sort of take the coating away. So don't really want to do that any further. But yeah, then also the handbrake, which says Lancer Revolution there. So really nice pieces, just a little bit scratched up. She bought them used. Um, also, we have some OEM Lancer Revolution floor mats, but with a difference, these ones have been changed to red stitching. Normally it is uh, white. Um, so actually a viewer of the channel actually sold me these. Um, he made a few up and Letitia really wanted this set in the red. So yeah, massive shout out to him. Um, haven't opened these up yet and checked them out. He keeps asking me if I've fitted them, if I like them. Um, I'm sure we will, but yeah, thank you so much for those. Um, and yeah, so these are gonna go in. And then lastly, we just have this cabin air filter um, company reached out to me multiple times and said they wanted to send me this. So decided, you know, if it's gonna be for free, I'll take it. Um, but we do need a new cabin air filter in this car anyway. So yeah, pretty good timing. Um, so I'll show you how you remove and replace your cabin air filter. Pretty easy to do. Um, and then these guys, they're really 
um, not the cheapest cabin air filter. They're meant to be very high quality is what they say. So yeah, we'll check it out. Um, if you guys like it, you can check out the link in the description. Um, I think you get like a small discount if you use that link. And I, if you do buy it, I get like a small commission also. Um, but yeah, I thought they're going to send it to people for free. I doubt it's you know, going to get them many sales. It's not a very big channel, but yeah, I thought why not? Um, so that's what we're doing. And I'll just quickly show you the interior as it sits. So let's turn a light on. We already have Lancet Evolution floor mats. So those are getting replaced. We'll keep those obviously. Um, they're hard to get now. So, but yeah, it's putting the red stitching ones in. Um, and then this is the current shift knob and handbrake. So just the OEM sort of rubber handbrake. I was trying to find a leather one for her, which is out of like a, a late model. Um, so it'll be leather with sort of white or red stitching. Um, but yeah, the aluminium or whatever it is, one popped up. We've grabbed that. Uh, I've got this carbon shift knob, so we'll swap those both over. And then this console. So it's gonna be all looking the same as mine. And yeah, I won't film that process. I'm going to just knock that out real quick. Um, and then, yeah, I'll pick the camera back up, show you how it looks, and we'll put the shift knob and handbrake in, floor mats, and show you how to do the cabin filter. So, yeah, I know it's a long intro, but um, hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of the video, and, yeah, we'll update you once we have something new to show you in the interior. here. All right, guys, so it's a couple of hours later, and I have finished this first part, which I said I wasn't going to film the process of, because, yeah, I just made a video of it on my car, um, there will be a link in the description if you want to see how you swap out your early model um, Evo sort of SST surround and change it to this one with the cubbies. You can get this in the gloss black or piano black like this is, which matches the upper trim, or you can get it in sort of the like fake carbon fiber. I don't know if they call it carbon fiber, but yeah, the other style. Um, so if you want to see how that's done, Check out the video in the description, but I just knocked that out. Gotta say, it is one of the most frustrating jobs ever because that cubby piece just does not want to go in properly. Um, but yeah, ended up getting it finished and it does look really good, so I'm happy with that. Um, now I figured while we're at the interior, I'll just jump in and we'll do the shift knob and the handbrake. Okay, so we'll start off, we're gonna pull off this carbon fiber shift knob, put this Mitsubishi one on. So, obviously couldn't be easier. Actually just unscrew. Okay, so this is the one we're putting on. There you go, so that's that done. Um, yeah, it feels nice. I do like this style. That's why I have this on my car as well, and why I bought Letitia this one as well. But it's just a plastic like adapter you put inside that makes it work. Um, this one, I mean, I don't know if it goes as well with all this carbon and piano black. I think that kind of suits, but yeah, Letitia doesn't really like this one now. And she saw the condition of it, it's a little bit scratched up, but it's just really hard to get, so it was worth buying um, in the package. So we got kind of both. So hopefully when they're both on, it'll suit. But yeah, this one's really nice. I like this handbrake a lot. So I need to get this factory one off, and it's also very easy. Um, it just basically, you just wiggle it. There we go, it comes off. And this one, we have a little grub screw on the bottom. So, I guess we just slide that on. And I tighten the grub screw underneath. Okay, so we've got most of our interior stuff done. Let's get these floor mats out and have a look at them. So, it's the passenger side one. And yeah the red Lancer Revolution, it's really nice. 
get our driver's side and even got the genuine Mitsubishi parts tag on there Mitsubishi motors and yeah there is the um, parts number if you're looking to buy it so if you're looking for any of these any type of Lancer really um, just pause the video take a screenshot of that and that's what you'll be wanting so yeah pretty cool pick these up for a really good price and massive thanks again to the um, subscriber of the channel who reached out and had a set of these that he got made up with the red um, really matches Letitia's car so yeah this really happy with this it's actually getting really hard to find these so yeah the fact that um, Got a set of these with like a custom red I'm really happy and now we can put the set that was in the car away and we have a spare set for either car so let's take this one out if i can get it out from under the fire extinguisher much nicer having fresh black mats I'm um, pretty jealous actually I really wish I'd have got a set for my car now yeah it looks so much better wow oh, yeah. that red really pops so yeah Letitia's going to be stoked with this I think this interior is like really looking good uh, all of a sudden so i'll chuck the other ones in and then i'll do the cabin filter and we'll just do a last sort of walk around looking at everything we've done all right guys last thing we wanted to do after our floor mats and everything else is this cabin filter so yeah like i said this company sent this out to me and uh, i say it's really good and it's got carbon um like beads in it i guess to pull you know any contaminants out of the air not 100% sure how it all works but yeah activated carbon layer on the back and the filter layer on the top so yeah we'll uh, see if it fits also like it has this little string here for um, when you want to pull it back out that's pretty smart so to do this we need to do is open our glove box back up and then pop it out Let's completely move that out of the way so then this little white box here up the top that is where our cabin filters are stored so we need to basically pop this door open um, I've done this in a while let's see if I can remember how I did it yeah, the whole thing just comes off um, I think I just use a flathead screwdriver so I'll just grab one of those and I'll have a little play around with it, work it out again, and show you guys how you get it off, and then we'll pull the filter out. Okay, remembered it. Yeah, so it's this. So you just get a little something down in there, pop that out. And I can already see that this filter is looking a little bit worse for wear. Let's see if I can get this out. Okay, there's our filter. That is pretty gross I don't know if you guys ever check yours in your car but yeah that's kind of what you're breathing in at a certain point so hopefully these are actually the same size um, looks roughly the same so I'm going to put this Pepper King one in, leaving a string to the back, which should make it a bit easier to pull back out next time. Hopefully it fits. It's a bit harder to get it back in with all these cords and everything while holding the camera, but there we go. Nice and snug in there. Ended up popping off anyway after all that. 
Um, but yeah, we put our door back on. There we go, so that is done. Kind of hard, bit of an awkward process to film, but yeah, very easy. Um, just have to pop these little tabs out that are holding it in. And yeah, I mean, I can't give you guys like a review really on this because I haven't used it. I don't, you don't really notice what a cabin filter is doing, I guess, too much until maybe you get like a really bad smell in it. Um, but if yours looks like that, then it's definitely worth swapping it out. And if you want to get one of these, then yeah, I mean, they, they do look pretty good, look high quality. Um, so yeah, I'll put a link to this in the description. Um, if you want to grab one, then yeah, it'll probably help the channel out. I don't think, I haven't really said what they're going to pay me to, you know, promote it. They just sort of said, you can have one. And if you would like to put a link, we'll give your viewers a discount and um, I don't even know if I said they'd give me a commission. I'll have to check that, but either way, I'm sure it'll help the channel out showing companies that if they send me stuff um, that I'll chuck it in a video if I think it's something you guys will like. I have had a bunch of companies sort of reach out to me that are things that I don't really want in my cars and I don't want to make videos with. So yeah, I mean, it has to be something decent. Um, and yeah, like I didn't get paid for this or anything. It just saved me buying one myself. Um, so yeah. That's that done. Chuck the glove box back in and let's just have a look at this interior and see what we think of everything finished. Okay guys, so yeah, pretty successful day. Um, don't wanna make this too bright, but yeah, so I think the interior is looking kind of really good right now. Um, unsure if the shift knob and handbrake will stay. I kind of feel like Letitia is just going to put those back up for sale. Um, but I really like the handbrake, I've got to say. The shift knob, yeah, I think maybe a, a carbon one or something black to suit that sort of area would suit. It does match in with the, the AC vents and everything, but I think that handbrake one uh, it looks really nice and it feels really nice and solid when you're pulling the handbrake up and down. I did have a bit of a test with it. Um, but yeah, so a couple of sort of rare OEM parts there. I mean, I know some people just have them in their cars, um, they're optioned, but they're actually very hard to get now. And when you see them in like, you know, brand new condition, they go for really, really big money, like crazy amounts of money that I would never kind of bother. Um, but yeah, we paid, we didn't get them cheap, I'll be honest, um, but we didn't pay the crazy prices for the brand new ones. So I guess that's what you get for trying to get a score on something used with not many photos online. Um, but yeah, these floor mats I'm absolutely stoked with. I really am kicking myself that I bought these for Letitia and not for myself. But the red stitching, it was just like it was made for her car. Um, and yeah, the SST surround also looking really good. So yeah, like I said, this interior has come a long way in the like year we've owned the car, I guess. Um, yeah, the full blacked out interior um, down to these few little changes today. Um, there's just not as much we wanted to do with this interior compared to mine. Um, yeah, and also we obviously added the gauges. Um, so the, it, the car's looking great. And it's kind of almost at the point with this MR that there isn't much left to do. Uh, we just need to enjoy the car. It's just such a great car. And yeah, I'm hoping you guys have enjoyed this build process. If you haven't checked out the video where I sort of put it all into like a 10 minute video and did the the popular YouTube video series of building a car in 10 minutes or 11 minutes or whatever it is. Um, I did make one of this car and did really well. It's really helped grow the channel. So if you guys didn't check that out, um, yeah, check that one out. It's, I was pretty proud of my editing, I'll be honest. Um, I was pretty scared to make that video for a while. I thought, yeah, I don't really, I'm not good enough at editing to try and put one of those together, but um, did it while I was sick in bed for a couple of days, just playing around editing and I think it came out amazing. So um, yeah rambling on now but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video um let me know what you think of this interior and what's your vote for the shift knob and handbrake should they stay or should they go and yeah make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribe to the channel check out my new channel evolve details i would appreciate that but until next time i will catch you guys later